My journey continues in Mexico, which is more than just cycling and hiking. I'm in central Mexico, also known as the colonial heartland, with loads of quiet back roads to cycle on, heaps of friendly people, and endless camping opportunities. I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to go here in the uh, Mineral de Pozos, as it's called. It's kind of an old ghost town, but uh, there's supposed to be some really cool ruins around here, but past four different people and I got four different locations I need to go. <laughs> Nearby is the Sierra Gorda Mountains that offers some of the best cycle touring in Mexico. Lots of lonely, quiet roads. Lots of small villages to resupply. And the opportunity to get off road and explore some of the back country. Sierra Gorda Mountains are also nearby San Miguel de Allende. When I arrived, there was a parade to celebrate Indigenous culture. continue my journey south. As much as possible, I tried to find back roads. Google is telling me this is where I've got to go on this little tiny road. Quite often I just put in a, uh, a destination and let it tell me where to go. Sometimes I'll put it on the cycling route, which is what this is, and other times I'll put it on the hiking route. And uh, eventually I'll get there. Not as fast as on a main highway, but I don't always want to be on highway. Let us dance away. I can't let you go until the end of day. Just letting you know. We let water flow. Working night of fire. I mean, go and go. And we'll walk outside. I didn't know it at the time, but the road that I was cycling on was an old Aztec road one of the hundreds that crisscross Mexico. This particular road took me to one of the ancient ruins known as Tula. I made my way around the busiest city in Mexico, Mexico City, mostly on roads like this. I did 
take a detour to one of the most famous ruins in all of Mexico, just outside of Mexico City, Teotihuacan. It's also one of the busiest and most frequented places in Mexico. I made my way to a place called La Malinche, which is one of the many volcanoes in Mexico. I set off to cycle up as far as I could, then set up camp and climbed to the summit on foot. Finally I've reached the dirt section of the trail. It's at like 3,400 metres or something like that. And I uh, hope it stays at this grade. I can actually keep riding. Well, this is camp. I'm at like 3,700 meters. Let me just show you around my camp. So. Bike there, I'm going to get it off this trail just in case someone comes along in the middle of the night. But um, found a little problem there's like these really I don't know whether you can see like those really spiky um, grasses, and they're all the way through of my tent. So I've kind of <laughs> put all the clothes that I own down because I don't have any uh, any ground sheet. So when I put up my um, um, mattress, I'm not going to get any holes in it. And uh, I can already like push my hands down on all this and I can't feel any spikes coming through. So that's a good thing. But I'm going to get up at like about four in the morning, start hoping, hiking at five and hopefully I'll get to the top at about sunrise. So until then, buenas noches. Well, I didn't get up for sunrise. Sunrise at the summit. Can't find my headlamp. A little bit uh, disappointed in that. So I waited until it was light enough for me to see before I started to make my way to the top. Probably go about another 40 minutes or so I reckon in the tree line and I should be up above the trees I should get some good views I'm just starting to come out of the tree line now and the sun's hitting me and oh, it's nice and warm behind me there's a nice view of the uh, the valley a little bit of low cloud there so far, so good. But where does the trail go? I think it goes this way. Not a bad spot for a rest. Only got about 200 vertical meters to go, so I'm at like 4,250 meters or something like that. Ah, Lama Lynch, And just over this way, you see the active volcano Popo. I don't even know how to pronounce his real name. Papa Tepel or whatever. And the other one that's got, you can just see a little bit of snow on it maybe. Itzy. I don't know how to pronounce that one either. And then just over this way, that volcano there, that big one, that's Orizaba. Highest mountain in uh, Mexico, third highest in uh, North America, and that's my project for next week. <laughs>
after climbing La Malinche, I was en route to Orizaba when I heard the sad news that a good friend of mine had died. He was only a year older than me. It just makes you think, life is short. Get out and do whatever it is you really want to do in life. Do it now, because there may not be time in the future. This is a view from my campsite. That is one hell of an intimidating looking mountain. Hopefully I'll be up there in a couple of days. At Orizaba, I was gonna meet up with two of my hiking and cycling friends, Spontaneous and Sky, where we plan to climb the highest mountain in Mexico, Orizaba. What just happened? Uh, zero. <laughs> no alcohol. No alcohol, Cerveza. Our plan was to take our bikes and cycle as far as we could up Orizaba before leaving the bikes at camp and making the final push to the summit on foot. Oh, 3,400 metres, it's hard to describe, just how hard it is. Push up this steep hill. Ah. <laughs> how high are we? What altitude? Uh, here, 3,000, almost 500. Meters. 3,500. Yeah. It's a good spot for a campsite. Yeah. The following morning wasn't good for me. My attempt to climb Orizaba was over before it even started. Stomach pain, diarrhea, fatigue, my climb was over. After a couple of days rest, I got back on the bicycle and headed south to the town of Oaxaca. I went for a bit of a climb up to the nearby ruins of Monte Alban. It was getting late in the dry season. Everything was brown and ready for the wet season to approach. When in town, I met up with a couple of other people at the local hostel I was staying at, and we heard that a group of Mexican wrestlers were coming to town. We just had to go and check it out. my journey through central Mexico. On the next episode, I head down into the steamy forests to check out the wildlife. And also check out some of the Mayan ruins of Mexico and Guatemala. And take a swim in a couple of the cenotes. If you like this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. <laughs>